Hey guys and girls, BT and Sai here with this week's installment of Battlefield 3. This is the AK971 gun guide. And what we're going to be showing you in this gun guide is which attachments work best to keep the best recoil on your gun. What you're looking at now is me on Carg Island Team Deathmatch, which I got a few days ago, where I go on a complete rape fest and get a nice 40 to 5 game on the map. And what you're looking at now is a nice 17 kill streak that I get with the gun. Later on in this video, I get a nice little 10 kill streak, I think, with the gun in a nice little close quarter area. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. What we're going to go through now is the technical technical specifications of the guns. We're going to go through that the AK-47 has a 30 round magazine with one in the chamber, a 900 round per minute fire rate, which is the second fastest assault rifle in the game, second to the FAMAS, which is a 1000 fire rate. And we're going to go through the max damage in normal firing modes and the max damage in when you're suppressed. Now the max damage in normal firing mode is 25 at 1 to 10 meters. At 15 meters it's 24, it's 23 at 20 meters, 22 at 25 meters, 21 at 30 meters, 20 at 35 meters and 19 at 40 meters. However its suppression damage goes to 25 to 25 to 25 from 1 to 10 meters to 24 at 15 to 23 at 20 to 21 at 25 and the rest is now 17 which makes it a low quite a lot of a drop off from 19 to 17 now the this the different time intervals for the, for the gun to kill at at different distances um, from 1 to 10 meters you're going to be killing in 0.2 seconds then at 50 meters 0.267 seconds then again at 20 meters 0.267 seconds then again at until we get to the 40 meter mark which is going to be 0.33 seconds which is still very very fast with the gun now the rounds that it takes to kill uh, it's 1 meter 4 bullets 5 meters 4 bullets 10 meters 4 bullets 15 meters, 5 bullets, 20 meters, 5 bullets, 25 meters, 5 bullets, 30 meters, 5 bullets, 40 meters, 6 bullets, and over that it's just the difference between how much the bullet d damage is reduced. Some nice tips and combinations now when using the AK971. When, personally, you're going to get the best recoil if you're going to use the foregrip and the flash suppressor or the suppressor. However, when you're using the foregrip, your accuracy will be less accurate at a longer range than compared to if you had an undeployed bipod or just the undermounted, underslung barrel. Now, personally, I wouldn't use the bipod on the gun unless you wanted to actually lay it down at multiple times. Just mainly because if you're hiding behind walls or if you lay on the floor, you can accidentally deploy the bipod while aiming down sight and that's just going to waste a lot of time and your enemy could get away and also in that time you could also die. Another thing, I personally wouldn't use the laser sight on this gun because hip firing isn't amazing on this gun and also if you're going to hip fire you should use the foregrip not the laser sight because there's so many better attachments that can be used instead of the laser sight like the suppressor or the flash suppressor especially the suppressor in my opinion because that's going to keep, keep you nice and sneaky and the enemies aren't going to see you. Now first things first with the recoil statistics and the usage of the weapon at full auto. The first damage chart that I'm going to show you is me going full auto with the AK971 from about 15 meters away so you're going to get a nice good picture of how the recoil is going to go and it's going to go very very strongly to the left while going at full auto. And I also do a, a recoil comparison where I'm trying to control the recoil at full power and that gives a nice little cluster in the centre. However, that shouldn't be used at such great range. I'd only use the big, if you're going to go full auto and do it in a little recoil pattern, whilst in the about 40 metres and less range. The next weapon loadout that I'm using is no attachments on the barrel, no, no sight attachments and just a foregrip and as you can see the recoil is nice centralised and just goes vertically upwards. Now when using a bipod but undeployed you will notice that the recoil is the same as it was with the fore, without the foregrip sorry. 
However, it will sway in the opposite directions, so now it will go to the right instead of the left. And with the with the bipod deployed, you're going to notice that the recoil is going to be very centralised and hardly going upwards. It's pretty much going to stay still. Now, if you got this far from a video, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and staying with me from this far. I'm going to plan on making more of these types of videos with also different guns like different assault rifles, different engineer class weapons, sniper rifles, um, LMGs, some of the all kit weapons, some of the pistols. I also might make stat videos on some of the vehicles like the choppers and the jets and also some of the tanks and the um, BMDs as well. So if you like that then it would be great if you could come and give me feedback to say A, which ones you'd like to see and specifically what weapons you'd like to see and B, if there's any support of what you could what I, you think I could do to make this video better say like, if you want me to like nicely present the information out and display it in the video so it'd be easier for you to watch that would be great also if you like the frame that I put around the video it would be nice if you could tell me that you like the frame and if you want it changing or you prefer watching videos without a frame around that would be great and also I've got a nice little Twitter outro at the back at the back which I used Cinema 4D to make which is quite nerdy however it is it is very very nice so I'd like appreciate it if you could tell me if you like that and as that would help me a lot also my tw there will be a link on the screen at that part to take you to my Twitter account There'll also be a link in the description to take me to my Twitter account. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe. That'd be great. If you could gonna rate, if it would be a like, that'd be fantastic. And any constructive feedback would be fantastic.